wonderful people. I hope you had a healthy and happy holidays. <laughs> and I hope you're winding down and starting this year off on a fresh note. With that said, I too wanted to start this year off on an organized note and just to center myself. So this episode five, we'll be covering the Japanese style serene bathroom design, as well as organizing and storage solutions in the laundry closet and the utility closet conversion, which has not been covered by any media outlet. So this is exclusive content. You saw it here first. <laughs> so let's get into the empty tour walkthrough of each of the areas. And so you can see how we started and what's behind the doors. All right, so when we were condo shopping, a non-negotiable for us was laundry unit. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like a major deal, but for us here in New York City, this is a coveted item. Um, and so when we saw that this unit came with a combo unit, a washer and dryer unit, we were happy about that. Even though we're used to the stacked ones, the washer separate from the dryer, but we thought we would use it out for a few months and also use the extra storage space. So in this case, um, one of the things I wanted to do was tie in that serene Japanese feel with this kind of Hinoki wood style and linen hamper and storage solutions. Um, got them from Amazon. Um, what I love about them is it gives us a good hand reach for the hamper. We were also able to add linens and extra towels for ourselves and when gets are around and also just extra accessories for laundry. So things like steamer and lip brush and all the things are stored here. And then also my favorite piece, this Joseph and Joseph ironing board. It's a portable ironing board. I love that it's small and quaint. So it allows us to be able to iron items right on the portable island table here in the kitchen and also take it to our bedroom as needed. So these things seem small, but they really were a functional addition to the space and really makes it a usable space for this unit. Across from the laundry closet is <laughs> the coat closet. Well, at least it is now. Um, originally, this closet here was a utility closet and it had this large water tank, as you guys see in this empty tour walkthrough and this huge HVAC system. And don't get me wrong, very grateful for having central AC. One thing I know is that city living doesn't have to be like this. <laughs> um, these large tanks are not necessary for this size unit. Um, and in fact, we see them a lot here in New York City. One of the storage solutions I've learned from my sister is to convert these large water tanks into a tankless electric water heater system. And I feel like none of you guys have heard about this. You didn't see it on Pinterest, you saw it here. So again, exclusive content. I decided to convert this large tank into this tankless water system because it gave us more storage space. So as you guys see here, by converting it, we were able to add a portable coat closet. So this actually moves and I did that on purpose so that we can clean the area. Allows us to hang our coats, bags, and sh put our shoes when we first enter the unit. But also uh, this coat rack here has extra storage. So that's where we put any extra toiletries and things like that on the way to the bathroom. All of it can now fit in here just because we removed <laughs> that tank. With that said, I do not suggest that you do this by yourself. Converting this water tank heater required a plumber and electrician, and it's very important to get it professionally done because we are in a building, right? So we wanted to make sure we did not affect anyone else in the building in terms of the water or the electricity. Um, so it did take a couple of days. This was one of our biggest renovations. Very proud of how it turned out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Heading over to the bathroom space, this was actually the least renovated space and I'm grateful for that because bathroom renovations are no game. Um, one thing I loved about it, a big pro when we were viewing this unit, was the beautiful travertine tiles that are in here. Sustainable, durable, and so serene. Like I love the sandy beige color and because we had this Japanese and like afro japan style in our head, this had that deserty feel that we love. So to be honest with you, we didn't do too much in the bathroom, but because it is a long and narrow space, so things like adding extra hooks in the shower under the shower niche for our sponges and bath accessories that was major key for me and then also using narrow storage solutions so things like this toilet tissue rack for extra toilet tissue as well as having it conveniently fit into this corner here so you can move it into the corner if needed as well as my favorite accessory here which is this led vanity this vanity mirror has different lights tones which is great for makeup and perfect for selfies <laughs> And in here, um, with the shelving, we just kind of divided a his and her style and then also used it for extra storage. And that, my friends, is what's behind door number one, two, and three. <laughs> with that said, let's take a final walkthrough through all the spaces so you guys can see how everything turned out and get the details of the final shot. I hope this inspires you to make the best use of every square footage in your space. See you in the next episode where we'll finally 
do the bedroom and the custom closet. I know a few of you guys have been asking about that, but hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on.